Well, you know, a lot of people are finding unique ways to send the love out to their fellow man during this time of crisis. So our Vanessa Ramirez has been highlighting some of the ways that folks are doing it right here in the Valley. Hey guys, social distancing is tough, but a virtual hug will help. That's why we wanna keep you connected with your loved ones through our Send the Love feed. Here are a few of my favorite stories that you all shared over the past 24 hours. So like many restaurants, Chestnut at the Vintage has been impacted by the coronavirus. But thanks to an anonymous donor, the restaurant is still running, providing workers with additional hours while also giving meals to those who need it most. This week, they're rolling out their first cycle of microwavable meals to the ladies of the Hope Women's Center. Wow, that is awesome. Thank you, anonymous donor. That is definitely a good deed. Okay, we all need a little laugh during this tough time, so check out this cake. Joseph Chi shared this photo of the quarantine birthday cake for his friend's 30th birthday party. We definitely need those items, but I wanna know, did he try using that toilet paper? I hope not. And a 12-year-old is sending the love to others in her household. Renee Moulton sent us this photo of encouraging notes her daughter is leaving around the house. The notes say things like, you do you, because you're great. Aw, good job, Renee, on raising a sweet daughter. Okay, those are some amazing stories, but now we wanna hear your stories. So go ahead and send us a message on Facebook using the hashtag SendTheLove. You can use that same hashtag on Twitter or Instagram for a chance to have your positive story shared on air. You can also email us your SendTheLove photos or videos to connect at 12news.com.